hello everybody and as you can see this is not an hour boat um it's been a mood the last year hasn't it and we've managed to we've managed to get a little bit of filming done and we've managed to get a couple of the jobs done that we've wanted to get done but for the most part lockdown has pretty much meant that we've been outside of our travel restrictions to be able to get to the marina um and also our marina is sort of closed following government guidelines blah 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 all the things so what i thought i'd do today is kind of splice together the bits of filming that i've got and kind of point you in the right direction of when it all kind of happened and and just basically give you a a bit of a, a talk really about what's been going on so i think the last time we managed to get back up to the boat ourselves was well i managed to get up in october for a few days but as, as lockdown kind of kicked in, um, it meant that from pretty much mid-March of 2020 that we weren't, able to, we weren't able to travel to the boat and the marina was closed. So I think it was, it was around about July time, June, July time, when we managed to do a big run up to the boat. Okay, piles of stuff to go up to the boat. As I'd said before that we wanted to you know we wanted to sort of do a lot of decorating and all that kind of thing we decided because the weather was so good and the forecast was good that we weren't going to be able to because we wanted to paint the boat ourselves sort of inside and out and it was just going to be something we were going to slowly sort of work our way through across the summer but knowing that the the lockdowns were kind of going to come in and out we thought that if we were going to do it we'd have to kind of just make a massive run at it so so we kind of made a knee-jerk decision and um and ordered the paint so it's arrived it's happening and then we had a, a, a friend who is very very handy with a paintbrush and was able to kind of give us a few days and go and stay on the boat and just kind of knock it out of the park for us so I think I got to see the paint job. It was done in August in the in the mass mass heat, um, and we got up in September. And I've got, I've got I've got a little bit of footage for you from then. Hello everybody, and welcome back. This I'm hiding. I'm hiding down the shady end of the boat, or supposedly shady. The sun's just beaming in here, and um, most of it you, is is too white, and you can't see my face, which may not be a bad thing. But um, we are in. An absolute mess so this week's vlog is brought to you supported by clutter and chaos um, we have had some decorating done so everywhere I turn the camera this week there's going to be boxes and, and sandpaper and, and all the things and everything's everywhere because we've had to take all the solar panels off the roof and all the bits and pieces because it's not the interior we are painting it is the exterior um, We've had a friend of husband's who has come on board and kind of taken a week's holiday on board and, and done the painting for us. And she's looking fab. We have, I'll talk about it more in this week's vlog as we go, but we have decided to take the name Enchantia off um, and we're gonna rename her. But um, I'll, go, I'll go in, I'll go in, as I'll go into that as we go, but uh, basically we're gonna pull her out of the water in, I'm not sure if it's going to be next spring now um, because we're coming up it's mid-September and we're going to pull her out of the water and get her blacked so we've had all the all the bits that you can see done and decorated and sanded down and we've done all the red oxide work and all the bits and pieces but I'll, I'll kind of work you through as we do that and show you what's going on and so as you can see we've blacked everything that was above the water um, because we you know we do want to pull her out um, the the window on the on the well deck is something that we wanted to have replaced and done by now and and it isn't but as you can see the green there that's the old color and then we've gone for a, a blue I think it's just a plain navy blue and we bought the paint from Symphony um, it seemed to be we checked the reviews out first um, and it was it was pretty good cost wise um, We'd gone for a navy blue on the walls and then we've gone for a matte grey on the roof. 
we had it done in the August and because the heat was as excessive as it was, um, the couple of coats went on the top and it was drying. I mean, literally as, as, as it was going on, it was drying out. So it still needs a third coat, something that we obviously intended to get done, but kind of lockdown has scuppered us. So we've lifted all the solar panels and everything that was on the roof off and it is still like that now. So we're still waiting for that that third coat to go on, which we can do ourselves, but it was it was freeing up the time to do it, which is why we kind of asked sort of a, a friend to go up there and, and bang it out in a few days for us so that it was done in the event of another lockdown. It's not something I wanted to kind of start and stop. So yes, as I was saying, the paint came from Symphony and we ordered, I've got, I've got all the measurements here on the screen. So what we did is we had, um, what did we do? We had uh, two and a half litres of navy blue, uh, which was the top coat. We had two and a half litres of just a dark blue undercoat. And then we had one litre of undercoat grey for the roof and then another um, tub top coat grey in the matte finish for the roof. The, the whole lot together came um, from Symphony by delivery and it was about, it was, I think it was about £340 altogether, um, which is a, is a really good price. I think I've read, the reviews I've read were pretty good and... I must admit the the paint job I'm I'm really impressed with it on the outside. We are wanting to kind of look at uh, coach rails and things like that and a bit of detailing, but that isn't kind of the that's not urgent. That's just you know it's just kind of the the beautification at the end, isn't it really? So at this stage in at this stage in play, you know lockdown notwithstanding, we kind of wanted our. Um, uh, cratch covers and our you know pram cover and all that to be done we wanted to have replaced the window in the whale deck and and there's a few few things that we really wanted to get done by now um and it just that isn't the way that isn't the way <laughs> that it that it's gone down so we've kind of had to take it take it as we can um i managed to get up in october where there was a kind of a brief window where because we're down here on the south coast. So there was a brief window where our numbers were low enough that we were able to kind of travel about. So I was going up once a week and staying over and just trying to get some of the interior paintwork done because um, the the boat has got a lot of wood panelling with kind of like a faux wood panel varnish on top. Um, I'll, I'll put some clips in for you to show you. And so the the paint that I was using there is a real, um, it's a multi-surface. I think it's called the difficult surface. <laughs> so the white paint that I'm using on the walls is, is a difficult surface um, undercoat and kind of primer. And what it does is it, it adheres to pretty much anything and it helps um, emulsion and bits and pieces like that to, to stick to the top. So... I'm not one for kind of like the old wood style um, on the narrow boats. It kind of, it, personally, it gives quite a long tunnel effect, makes it look a bit like a corridor. Um, and when something is six-ish foot wide, you're already up against it. So I've gone, I've gone really kind of sort of pale colours everywhere, um, whites and uh, like a uh, like a really light sagey colour in the in the in the living areas just to try and encourage the light to come through. So once we get back up, I'll be able to give you a, a kind of a closer look at what's going on. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a few months. I know we're all in the same, we're all in the same place. Um, I was gonna say on the same boat then, but the pun would simply be too much. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's where we are. We have managed to get a couple of jobs done, which is great. Um, we've got a few things that we really wanna be pushing on with. But again, we kind of have to wait until we can do these things safely. So the videos, clearly there's not a lot I can show you. I'm going to make a video in a couple of weeks and I'm going to talk about the cost of owning a narrowboat when you live on land and kind of what you get from a marina and, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, keeping boats in a marina and CRT licenses to get out on the water. And I'm going to kind of be doing a bit of a, a cost wrap up because I thought although I can't show you narrowboat stuff if it's something that you are looking to do come the summer after a 
a period of us being locked down like we have been, if you suddenly are going to plunge ahead with your dreams and buy an airboat, you might have questions about sort of cost and expenditure. So if you have got any questions about the cost of sort of blacking or pulling her out of the water or surveys or marina fees or do leave questions down below um, because I've got a running list of kind of fees and expenses that I can tell you about and obviously this is our first narrowboat and our first time around so I can tell you you know kind of what we would do differently or what we would do the same and it obviously has I've done it again with the obviously somebody shoot me it has only been sort of 18 months or so since we bought our, this narrowboat, our very first narrowboat. And um, and so a lot of those expenses are, are kind of fresh in my mind because it does, it does hit the budget. So that's our quick whirlwind rundown of what's been going on. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all washing your hands and staying, you know, away from people and wearing masks and, and all the things, the new things that we have to think about now. And... Um, and yeah, I will speak to you all soon. Happy 2021, lovely people.